my name is Yvonne Metz. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you have been here before, then welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you this adorable uh, crocheted messy bun owl hat. Another great pattern by Diana. And it's using the puff stitch. Below I will list all the materials that I used for this one. So let's go ahead and get hooking. All right, so we're going to be working this pattern from the top down and I'll be using Red Heart Super Saver yarn in soft white. My hook I'm using is a J hook 6.0. I do crochet tightly so I went up a hook size. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with the slip knot. And let me zoom in a little bit. And we're going to start with a chain of 18. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. We're going to slip stitch to the first chain to form a ring. So just like so. So starting row one, we're going to chain one, and then we're going to single crochet in each chain that we just made. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, draw through two. Insert hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, draw through two. And we're going to do this all the way around. I'll meet you back when I get my 18th stitch. Okay, so I finished my last single crochet. Now we're going to slip stitch to the first single crochet and chain one. Round two, we're going to be doing the puff stitch and we will do one puff stitch in every single single crochet that we just made. So let's go ahead and we're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the first single crochet, yarn over, draw up a loop and pull it up a little bit like that. Yarn over, insert hook into the same single crochet, yarn over and draw up a loop. We're going to repeat that one more time. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, draw up another loop. We should have seven loops on our hook. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We're going to yarn over, draw through all seven, yarn over, and chain one. So let me get closer. We can try that one more time. Yarn over, insert hook into the next single crochet, yarn over, draw up a loop. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, insert hook again, yarn over, draw up a loop. Now we have five, yarn over, insert hook. Now we have seven. Yarn over, draw through all seven, chain one to close. So we'll do this, just like that, all the way across until we have 18 and I will meet you back here when I'm done. All right, I finished my last puff stitch. So now we're going to join to the first puff stitch with a slip stitch. Starting row three, we're going to slip stitch in between the first puff stitch and the second puff stitch and go ahead and chain one. We're going to work two puff stitches in this space. So go ahead with your first puff stitch. Okay, we're going to chain one and then we're going to chain one again. And then we're going to work the second puff stitch. Okay, chain one to close. And in the next two spaces in between, we're going to be working in between the puff stitches, okay? So we're going to do 
in the next two puff stitches a single puff stitch in each and this is going to be our pattern that five seven loops on the hook okay so we have two one one and we're going to work in between the next two puff stitches we're going to add two in here okay chain one to close we're going to do an extra chain one and two our second right here and work two more single puff stitches in the next two spaces okay so that's one oops yeah one to close and here's the second and chain one to close so that's our pattern all the way around so you're gonna have two puff stitches one one two puff stitches in the same and then one and one so go all the way around and I will meet you back here you should have 24 puff stitches at the end okay so I finished my last puff stitch and I do have 24 so make sure you count that you have 24 and we're going to join to the first puff stitch and starting row four we're going to slip stitch in between the two puff stitches here and this will be our last increase row go ahead and chain one and we're going to do two puff stitches in this same space so just like this there's one chain one to close chain one okay so that's two and one and then we're going to do three puff stitches in the next three spaces all right so that's going to be our pattern two and three go into the next okay one just like so so we have two and then one two and three so we're going to repeat this pattern all the way around it's going to be another two and one just like this and then chain one okay and then you're going to do three singles and then two doubles puff stitches in there so just repeat that pattern all the way around and you should have a count of 30 at the very end okay so I will see you here when I have my last puff stitch alright I am done with my last puff stitch so now we're going to slip stitch to the first puff stitch to join and I have 30 all the way around so rows 5 and 6 we are going to be putting one puff stitch in between each puff stitch around so let's start by slip stitching in between the first two puff stitches like so chain one and work a puff stitch in that space chain one to close and go in between the next two puff stitches and work another puff stitch okay so we're going to do this all the way around and as, again this is for rows five and six I will meet you here at round six as we will be changing colors okay so make sure you have 30 and I will meet you back here when I'm done all right I am done with my last puff stitch of row six and I'm going to slip stitch to join so now we're going to be changing colors so the way I do it is I'm going to slip stitch in between the first two stitches 
I'm going to grab my color. Now everybody does this differently. Let me zoom in just a little bit. And I'm going to pull the new yarn through. And what I do is I take the back and I just tighten it like that. Okay. And I'm going to chain one. And rows seven through 11 are going to be a repeat of row five, which is just um, puff stitches in each. All right, so there's three loops on your hook, five loops on your hook, and seven, drop through, chain one, go to your next one, and we're just going to do this for the next five rows, which is rows 7 through 11. Okay. Chain 1 to close. So go ahead and do rows 7 through 11, and then we're going to do another color change, and we'll work on the brim. All right, so I'll meet you back here after row 11. I just finished my last puff stitch, so go ahead and join to the first puff stitch. We're going to be working on the brim now. So let me grab the new color. Okay, and just the same as last time, pull the new color through, tighten the old one, and we're going to chain one. We're going to be working one single crochet all the way around. And we're going to start, let's see, let me zoom in. We're going to right, put a single crochet right where we joined. And then right here at the top of the puff stitch, we're going to put another single crochet. And then work another single crochet in between the two puff stitches. So we'll be doing this all the way around. Work a single crochet in the top of the puff stitch and then in between the puff stitches, just like this. You should end up with 58 single crochets. So I will meet you at the end. All right, working my last single crochet into the top of the puff stitch. I ended up with 60, which is fine, whether you have 58 or 60, as long as it's an even count. So now let's slip stitch to join and we'll be working row 13 through 17 the exact same way. We will be doing chain one, front post half double crochet into the same single crochet. So in the front, put your hook in, come around, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, draw through all three. Now we're going to go to the back and like this for the back post half double crochet. Front post half double crochet and we're just going to do this like so back and forth. The first row is always a little bit tricky because you're working it through a single crochet um, row but once you get the hang of it, the next rows will be much better. So let's go ahead, this is the back, and you'll just be alternating front post, back post, half double crochets all the way around. Back post, and then front post, half double. Yarn over, and then from the back, and then the front. So this will be rows 13 through 17. Just like this, front, front post half double crochet, back post half double crochet, back and forth. And I will meet you at the finishing of row 17. Okay, I am done with row 17. So let's go ahead and we're not going to join. We're going to do the invisible join. So we're going to go ahead and snip that off. Pull that through. Grab your yarn needle. And 
and go ahead and do your invisible join. So where you would normally slip stitch, go ahead and put the loop through there or your yarn. And oops, not there. You're going to go in the back loop only like that. Okay, so you got your little stitch there. Pull that and then go ahead and weave in back and forth. Just like this. Alright, and then pull that tight and then cut off the extra. So now your hat part is done. Alright, now let's do our facial features. So we'll start with the eyes and I'm changing to a G hook. You're going to make two of everything. So go ahead and do your little slip knot there. And we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then join to form a ring to the first chain. Or you can also do a magic circle. We're going to chain three. And then we're going, that's going to count as a stitch. And then go ahead and do 12 double crochets, or 11, excuse me, into the ring. So that's one, and that's two, three, four, five, six. So go ahead and keep going until you get your um, 11 done and I'll meet you back here. I've got my 11 plus your chain that makes 12. So go ahead and you're going to join into the third chain from your hook and then chain three which counts as a double crochet. Yarn over and now we're going to do another double crochet into that same chain. So that's two. And now we're going to work two double crochets into each double crochet around. Okay, so that's one and two. And you're just going to keep doing this all the way around. And you will have 24 double crochets. And we will finish it off. All right, I finished my last double crochet, so now I'm going to join. Okay, and I cut a generous amount of yarn, and uh, we're going to use that to weave into the hat later. So go ahead and pull that through. And I also tightened the middle right there just by pulling on this, and I closed the circle. So let's start with the next eye, which is, would be the inner one. And we're going to do the same thing. Do a slip knot. We're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Slip stitch to join and uh, form a circle. And we're going to chain three, which will count as your first double crochet. And we're going to double crochet ten more times inside the ring. So you'll have. 11 double crochets. So I will meet you here when I am done and we're going to finish that off. Okay, I finished my 10th double crochet, so we're going to join to the first chain three, and there we go. And then what I did also on this one, I just went ahead and pulled to close up the middle right there. And then we're going to cut it off so we can sew that to the other eye. And I'll put this aside. So now, this is going to be hard to see. It's black on black, so I will do it right here. We're going to do the little black part of the eye. 
and same thing, but we're going to chain two. Or I, you can also do a magic circle with this one. It might be better. Um, go ahead and chain two. And then just do seven single crochets in the second chain from hook. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then we're going to slip stitch to the first single crochet like so and then snip it off. Pull it through and go ahead with your yarn needle. What I did to close the circle of the eye is I just went back and forth like this just weave it through and just pull it as you go and then the little circle inside sorry it's just really small but the little circle inside will close up just like that Let's see if you can I'm sure you can see that zoom in a little bit okay so that's just going in a circle just like that and then go ahead and snip that off okay so go ahead and make all your eyes and I will come back and I will show you how to put them all together alright let's put the eyes together um, I'm gonna start with the black one and we are going to put it right here in the white one so just go ahead and use with your yarn needle just in and out like that back and forth through the black one to the back and the front okay and you're not going to see the work in the back so all this right here you won't see it okay So like that and then go ahead and just tie a little knot back here and let's see like that and go ahead and trim that off and I had an extra right here when I first started um, the circle so I'm going to go ahead and make the little pupil part with this yarn here. If you don't have enough, you can go ahead and use this one, this end, to go ahead and make the pupils. But since I have enough, I'm going to use this. So what we're going to do is just bring this color, the off-white, to the front. And then go ahead and you're just going to make a little X. So put that to the back like that there's your first line bring it up like this and back down and there you have it super easy and then we're going to go ahead and weave this in and out just to secure it and okay that's good cut that off now we'll go ahead and sew the white part to the gray and this part you want to just however you want it if you want them like uh, close together so that they're you know that they're looking kind of cross-eyed so this part you can play with and we're going to go ahead and do the same. Just sew this back and forth to the back and then put this to the front. Just like that. And 
we're done. Oh, just about. So go ahead and do this to your second one. And when I come back, we will do the beak and we will do the eyes, the eyelashes, and then the other eye part where it looks like he's got a little bit of eyeliner. We'll do this part right here and then the eyelashes. All right, so I will meet you back here when I'm done with this part. All right, so now we're going to work with the left eye first. And what, how we're going to do this is I'm going to use this. I want my eye to look this way. So this will be the corner of my left eye. So I'm going to join with black right here in the corner. And this is how I do it. Um, I know there's other ways to join, but I do it this way. And I go ahead and chain, tighten that up, and then chain one. And then we're going to do 10 single crochets all the way across in your next 10 stitches. So right where you joined, do a single crochet two, three, four, five, and I, and I kind of work around this one too, five, work around the yarn I should say, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and then slip stitch into the eleventh, chain one and then go ahead and snip that off and then of course we're going to weave in those and then with the right eye you're going to count let's see here's the corner of the right eye so count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so on the eleventh we're gonna add our black Just like this, tighten that, chain one, and we're going to work 10 single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten and your last one you're going to do a slip stitch chain one and then just finish off and then you'll be weaving that in so now for the eyelashes on your last five single crochets of each side we will be doing I cut five inch strands of black yarn and we're going to do like a latch hook type of method to add these on to your eyes. So go ahead and let's see, how did I do it? I did it this way. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five. We'll start here. And you just put your hook like that into both loops of your single crochet. Here's your little strand. If It might be easier to work with a six inch piece. This one is a five inch, but this one worked fine. So go ahead, bring both loops like this. And like that. So there's one. Let's do another one. And you can also do it with, um, let's see, through both loops do it this way and then yarn over both like that whatever way you're comfortable with this is almost like if you're doing an amogurumi doll like their hair okay bring this through you can take your fingers just like that and we'll do the last one Last two, I should say. Oh, I'll 
that one got in the way. And then the last one. Go through both. Yarn over both and do it this way. Okay, and then of course we're going to trim these. Mine on the first one, I trimmed them too short, so I want them a little bit longer this time. So I'm going to take it like that and then just give it a trim. Okay. All right, so now we're going to be working on the beak. And we're going to start with the slip knot. And let's go ahead and chain two. And then we're going to do in the second chain from your hook, not counting this one as that does not count as a stitch, you're going to count one, two. We're going to put four single crochets in the second chain from your hook. So that's one, two, three, and four. And then we will slip stitch to the first single crochet and then chain one. And then in the four single crochets we just made, we will be doing one single crochet in each. So that's one. And I like to add a stitch marker. That's one and that's two. three, and four. It's kind of hard to work with because it's so small. So now we're going to remove the stitch marker, slip stitch to the first single crochet, chain one. Now we're going to be doing two single crochets into each single crochet. So we're going to end with a total of eight single crochets. So that's one, two, add your stitch marker, two, and that's three, four, five, six. It's really hard to see. Six, seven, and eight, and then we will take the stitch marker out and then join to the first single crochet, chain one, and we will tie this off. I just flip the inside out like that, okay, and then go ahead and snip it. Make sure you leave extra yarn to sew onto your hat. So just like that. So now we will move on to the tassels. For my tassels, I cut 14 strands of yarn, about six inches in length. You can have them longer if you'd like. You can trim them. Um, you're going to have four of each color, so I have four brown, pink, and then the soft white. And I had two of the extra soft white because these are the ones that we're going to use to tie. So let's see. What I like to do um, is you kind of want to mix them up because you don't want all the colors in the same, um, you know, bunch together. So we kind of have them randomly. So when you get them the way you like, oops. We're going to go ahead and lay them flat like that. Actually put this like this, your extra, like that, and kind of put this in the middle. And then we're going to tie a double knot just like this. All right, and then pull this up. The, these strands right here will be used to attach to the hat. So then, coming um, about half an inch down from here, 
from this end, let's put our other extra strand. We're going to go like that. Oh, like that. And then we're going to tie a double knot like this. All right, so you're going to have it just like that. And that's how quick and easy it is to make a tassel. And you can just mess with these little um, strands down here, just like that. And if you want to trim it, go ahead and trim it and um, get it how you want. So that's it for the tassels. You can also, if you don't like this part right here, you can just go ahead and you can sew in and out with your needle, go back and forth a few times. I can show you how to do that. So you just take the darning needle, just like so, and just work it back and forth like this. And it kind of secures them all together also. And then the last one, I just pull it, pull it out like that so it comes down here. So that's it for the tassel. So next we'll go ahead and we'll um, put, her, put her all together. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and sew on all the pieces. So what I did is I just put all my pieces on here first just to see how I wanted them. Just like this. And then here's the beak. Now the beak, you have that little extra strand of yarn. Just go ahead and snip that off and then tuck that in. So this part, we're just going to fold in half. Let's see. Let me show you. We're just going to fold that down and this will get sewn like that through both. Okay. Now, let me go back. For the tassels, what we're going to do is one of them will be here on this side and one of them here. So if you want to do these ones first, that's fine. It was very, very easy. All I did was put my hook here, grab one string of yarn like that, and then I just tied a knot just like this. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to weave this in to the hat here on top. So I'll do this for the other side. Just go like that. Bring the yarn, oop, bring the yarn through like that. Then go ahead and tie a double knot. And then you can go ahead and weave those in. So the next thing you're going to do is, like I said, you're going to just put them all the pieces here the way you want them. And put the beak. And then you're just going to go ahead and sew everything together. So I will meet you back when I have all my pieces sewn together. All right. So my pieces are all sewn on and I just love this hat. Thank you again to Diana for another great pattern and for allowing me to do these videos to show you how to make them. Again, this is a child size hat. I'm sure you can make an adult hat by just adding more increases and then doing more rows. If you have any questions at all whatsoever, go ahead and leave me a comment. I will put everything in the description below with all the materials that I used for this hat. The link to the pattern will also be there. It is on her Facebook group. If you have a hard time getting it, just go ahead and message me um, and I will get that to you. If you don't want to miss uh, my videos, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and happy crocheting.